Good morning. Once again, it's the creatures back in 2023. Talk about what I went through the last couple of months, probably in a video. When I take a shower, I'm taking a shower in a while. Let's listen to some chill hip hop. Drive some cars today. Does that sound? I think it sounds good to me. I got my camera in the way. That's trouble. All right, let's see what we got here. Up. Oh, that was weird. It kept jumping back and forth. Look what we got in this race. Locked. I haven't played this in a while. Let's see. Current cars. Got a fun car to drive. I forget how to play. Here, let's do this one. What are you doing today? Decided to start playing some games again. Probably got everything set up. When I mean everything's set up, I have my desk all set up. I just moved recently. At least a stream. I'm gonna have a camera and a chair for this when I get it all set up. Thought I was in this. What am I doing? was an event I need to drive to it. I thought I was right next to it. This is what I want. There we go. Now I know how to play. Do it. Take me. 
Kid, the biggest Hot Wheels expert on Earth, is about to take you to school. It all started with Elliot Handler, who saw the toy cars his son played with and thought to himself, I could make something better. You see, right from the very beginning, Elliot envisioned a toy car that looked cool and rolled fast, making it that much more fun to play with. At the time, there was nothing out there like that. Handler brought in former rocket engineer Jack Ryan and General Motors car designer Harry Bradley to help. And between them, they oh, made rusty. the first 16 cars, known as the original 16. Jack's team developed the stainless steel axles and Delrin hubs that allowed the cars to roll super fast, while Harry made them look super eye-catching. Harry and Jack's contributions became the pillars of Hot Wheels, mm. performance and design. The first car off the production line was a custom Camaro, a lot like the one you're driving right now. Ah, I see what you did there. Yeah. And another of the original 16 was the custom Fleetside, based on Harry's custom Chevy El Camino. Most of those early designs were inspired by hot rods and muscle cars, which were popular in California car culture at the time. After Harry Bradley, more designers joined the team, like Ira Guilford from Chrysler, who did the Twin Mill, and Larry Wood from Ford, who designed the original Bone Shaker. But right from the beginning, they were designing cars to do one thing above all, roll really, really fast on plastic tracks. Wow. You've done your research. Research? I memorized this stuff when I was six years old. One reason why Hot Wheels are so eye-catching is because of a special paint called Spectra Flame. They use a transparent lacquer applied over a polished zinc plating, which gave oh, it a totally awesome metallic history. effect. Just like a that real car. Since then, Hot Wheels has broadened and developed its paint technique to support a variety of looks and effects. Fascinating stuff, right? Another detail was the red stripe on the tires, like the one you're driving now. They called them red line tires, and they look so cool. Red line tires are a defining characteristic of this era and are really sought after by collectors. All right, is she done? Later this month, we get to find out about Microsoft. Woohoo! Uh, Microsoft Motorsports. Our information was coming out this year. Oh, that was fun. And nice drive. Here, take the so custom close. 1957. Take Winner it up. Of the Legends Tour take it after I beat it up, right? Thanks, Haley. Let's do this again soon. Oh, two stars. Yeah, okay, try it one more time. See if we can get three stars on this one. We'll find out. Hopefully everything sounds good. I've been messing around. I was messing around with the audio all place. night last night. It's like a childhood dream yeah, come true. I thought I'd bring along a few friends to show off their Hot Wheels inspired cars. So I've got some fact sheets here. You get to learn along with the audience. I'll just hit the record button and. I never would have guessed, Haley. Stick with me, kid. The biggest Hot Wheels expert on Earth is about to take you to school. It all started with Elliot Handler, who saw the toy cars his son played with and thought to himself, I could make something better. You see, right from the very beginning, Elliot envisioned a toy car that looked cool I did cool really well until fun, then, huh? Making it that much more fun to play with. At the time, there was nothing out there like that. Handler brought in former rocket engineer Jack Ryan and General Motors car designer Harry Bradley to help. And between them, they made the first 16 cars, known as the original 16. Jack's team developed the stainless steel axles cool. and Delvin hubs that allowed the cars to roll super fast, while Harry made them look super eye-catching. Harry and Jack's contributions became the pillars of Hot Wheels, performance and design. The, same thing there. the first car off the production line was a custom Camaro, a lot like the one you're driving right now. Ah, I see what you did there. Yeah, and another of the original 16 was the custom Fleetside, based on Harry's custom Chevy El Camino. Most of those early designs were inspired by hot rods and muscle cars, which were popular in California car culture at the time. After Harry Bradley, more designers joined the team, like Ira Guilford from Chrysler, who did the Twin Mill, <laughs> and Larry Wood from Ford, who designed the original Bone Shaker. But right from the beginning, yeah. they were designing cars to do one thing above all, roll really, really fast on plastic tracks. Wow. You've done your research. Research? 
I memorized this stuff when I was six years old. One reason why Hot Wheels are so eye-catching is because of a special paint called Spectra Flame. Like far wheels, they use a transparent lacquer applied over a polished zinc plating, which gave it a totally awesome metallic effect. Just like a real car, since then Hot Wheels has broadened and developed its paint technique to support a variety of looks and effects. Fascinating stuff, right? Another detail was the red stripe on the tyres, like the one you're driving now. They called them red line tyres and they look so cool! Red line tyres are a defining characteristic of this era and are really sought after by collectors. Almost did the same thing. We're off the edge. There we go. Well, we beat it. Oh, two star nice again. Drive. Hit. Oh, well. Take the Nash Custom Watch me get two stars over and Winner over again. Of the Tour 2019. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Let's Watch do this again soon. Get two soon. stars. I hope you have a great day. Do a little short videos this year so you can watch them have a good time. And see you in the next one. Thanks for hanging out. Bye.